Have you ever been playing Minecraft and have you ever gotten lost? Or have you ever just wanted to go ahead and see a full length map of what your world in Minecraft looks like? Well in today's video I'm going to show you guys a free piece of software that will allow you to go ahead and create a map of your Minecraft world. Okay guys, so the free piece of software is called Minutor, or Minutor, Minutor, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is how it's spelled right here. This program is basically an open source piece of software that will allow you to create an interactive map of your Minecraft world. You can go ahead and download it from this link right here, which you can go ahead and download for either Mac OS X, Windows, and I think even Linux. But however, I don't know if there's a Linux version of Minecraft because I would not know. So to go ahead and download the program, all you do is click on download right here and it will go ahead and download. Just go ahead and install the program like any other program and you will have it right on your system. And uh, if you're doing this on a Mac, you can go ahead and click download and it'll bring you up to a page that will look like this. And then you can feel free to go ahead and download the DMG file from there. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be using the Windows version. So once you have the program installed and you open it up, it should look like this. A small window with not really that much going on. But as you notice here, we have a couple different drop down menus. The file drop down menu will have where you can open your world, but we'll go there in just a second. If you go to view, it'll have all your different view options. Colors and help, I won't really focus any much, or I won't focus that much in this video. You can feel free to go ahead and explore them yourself. But if you want to go ahead and open whichever world you have, go to file and then go to open world, and then open whatever Minecraft world that you want to go ahead and use. I'm going to open world one on mine. Once that's done, it should go ahead and come up to something like this that will go ahead and uh, basically show you what your world looks like. It'll be a full map of your world that you can go ahead and explore. You can go ahead and zoom in and zoom out if you want to, and you can go ahead and explore and see what everything on your world looks like. Now if we go here to view, you can go ahead and choose to jump to your spawn point, jump to your player, which will take you where your player is. If you click view nether, it will take you to the nether, so it'll show you what your nether looks like. However. If you haven't been to the nether yet, it won't view the nether. So make sure you go to the nether first before you go ahead and click on view nether. Then it has a couple options here including lightning and cave mode. And I'll go ahead and leave you to go ahead and try out uh, hide obscured and death shading. I think these are really cool features but I'm not going to get too much into them in this video. So this is the map right here. You can go ahead and zoom in with the scroll wheel and as you see down here at the bottom you have something down here that will show what location you are on and it will tell you what kind of block is where that is. So all you need to do is hide your mouse, or not hide your mouse, you need to hover your mouse over where the, any block that you want to and down here it will show you what is right there. So you can feel free to go ahead and explore the map some more and if you go ahead and zoom into the map you can even go ahead and look at where diamonds are and where gold is and all that kind of stuff. And speaking of, if you want to go ahead and view the different layers of the map, so if you want to go and explore down deep within your map, just go ahead up to this little bar up here at the top, and you can go ahead and click and drag it, and it will basically show you the different layers of your Minecraft world. And so that's pretty much it for the program. The program is called Minotaur. It's absolutely free. You can go ahead and download it from this link right here, which I'll provide in the video's description. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do with this, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you to go ahead and figure it out. But all I will say at the end of this video right now is that the world will not refresh on its own. So if you go ahead and do something different in your world while Minotaur is open, you're going to have to go ahead and close and open Minotaur again. I don't know if that's the case for you, but that's what I've had to do. And also, if you're having any problems getting Minotaur to work, feel free to go ahead and check out the link to go ahead and download it, this link right here. And then go ahead and comment down in the forum right down there, and then you can go ahead and feel free to get help from there. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Have fun mapping your Minecraft world, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.